Ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel. I am Second FM. Today we are taking a look at someone who I actually found in the comments of another YouTuber. They were going through their own profiles and in the comments someone had actually mentioned Moritz Kiergaard. I would like to see a profile on him. So I figured, you know what? I'll go ahead and do one. So as you can see, he's a Danish 19 year old sitting with Red Bull Salzburg. 5.8 to 17.5 million, not too bad. Uh, look pretty cheap, squad player, 7K per week. His stats look okay. I mean, a lot of 12s, a lot of 13s. His mentals don't look great though. That's the problem. Again, 19 years old, plenty of room to grow, and I'm hoping he will. But leadership of eight, nah. Positioning of seven is not good. Uh, determination of nine, so there's a lot of numbers that just aren't great. Finishing of nine, I mean, especially as that striker is not all that great. But heading of 13 is fantastic. First touch of 11 is not bad. Long shots in that AMC role is pretty good at 12. Passing of 11. So he's got some numbers that are pretty good. But again, 19 years old, I really hope to see a lot of these numbers grow. Now, milestone-wise, he doesn't have a lot. So he's got uh, the tip three Bundesliga powered by T-Mobile champions for Red Bull Salzburg. But you expect that. Samsung Cup winners. But weirdly enough, no, uh, he, no debut, no first goal. I don't know what that's all about. I still don't understand how that factors in to some of these teams or some of these players when, you know, the stats come come into the system. But we're going to skip ahead 10 years and see how he does. Well, 10 years in, it looks like he is with Borussia Mönchengladbach right now. Now, I did see in the news when reading about him, because I take tried to take a little bit of a snapshot of what he's like in real life and then kind of throw it into here. He it looks like it, in around April or thereabouts, he was looking to have a move to Manchester United. Obviously, that never panned out, but he does have a negative eight potential in the game, which is probably around 130 to 160 or thereabouts. Uh, so he can, if he's up towards the 160 mark, definitely fantastic player. Uh, definitely a lot of room for growth. In the 130, maybe not so much. But Borussia Mönchengladbach is not a bad team. I mean, he's moved his way to Germany in the, the top division in Germany. So he is rated 18 and a half to 56 million. Probably is not up at the 160 mark. Probably is not as low as 130 though. 90k per week is a regular starter. Some, I mean, his stats have grown into the 12s and 13s a lot more. The mentals were really bad. Now they're not too bad. You still have an 8 positioning, 9 leadership, 10 flair. Uh, you've got 8 marking, 10 tackling. I mean, he's not really playing in the defensive side. But I, I don't know. I mean, he's grown very well. I still don't think he's one that you would find in a Liverpool starting squad. Career stats, though, you could see he started out in Denmark at Lingby BK, moving on to Leifering for 2.4 in Austria, off to Red Bull Salzburg, back to Leifering, back and forth. It looks like he was loaned out in the 24-25 season in Newcastle and then picked up in that season for 13 and a quarter, loaned out to Middlesbrough in the championship, loaned out to Crystal Palace in the championship, back to Newcastle. He had a pretty good season for only 14 appearances, but then moved on to Germany for 24 million. Uh, I won't say he's been lighting things up in Germany, but I mean, he's a pretty solid average player. Six eights, not too bad. Milestone wise, seasonal best 11s all around, but first international cap against Saudi Arabia at 22, and then the ones we've already seen. So, really, nothing new. Injury wise, he's got a bunch, but they are all slight. So, if he's going to get one, uh, a couple of moderates, a couple of days, a couple of weeks. So, uh, most likely, it's not going to be too bad, but you ever now and again, you might get a, a little bit of a doozy. Tactically, he has been played mostly as an AMC, actually only as an AMC uh, role this season. 37 for club, 11 goals, 11 or 3 assists, 6-9. Not too bad, again, on the average side. Uh, he's probably a solid player, kind of like a Milner who does a good job, but he's not going to be lighting things up in the league. Um, he's going to be doing, going in, does what he needs to, and then kind of comes off the pitch as kind of the, the guy you forget he's even on the pitch. But internationally, two in the right Midfield, six in the center, one on the left, one is a striker. Uh, he's, I mean, not enough to really go on, but midfield center, six to six, six, seven. Eh. But overall, I mean, still, not a bad career. Acceleration and pace are there. I, I didn't even notice that. 
Uh, so his physicals are fantastic. It's everything else that's kind of on the iffy side. But again, probably good enough for a squad player in most teams. Um, starters in the, the mid-table to lower-table teams, definitely, I would say. But we're going to skip ahead to when he retires and see how that ends up. Well, it is 2039 in June, and this is when he apparently retires at the age of 35. He, you can see right there, 62939, expires in 18 days. Now, he has moved around a bit, so we'll take a look at that in just a minute, but contracted to Armenia Bielfeld. I will never be able to pronounce that one. He has a surplus to retirement requirements, though. Uh, it's, he was playing in the under-19s is what I saw. Yep, the under-19s right there. But overall, you could see physicals way down. Acceleration and pace of five. That's insane. Uh, positioning went up to eight and then went back down to seven. Uh, some of his technicals, not great. Mentals are okay for the most part, minus that positioning, leadership, and flair. But, yeah, it's definitely time for retirement. If we look at his career stats, Marujo Mochiglavak had one season above seven. That was a great one. 12 goals, four assists, one player of the match. Uh, but then moved on to Real Salt Lake on a free. We've seen someone else go to Real Salt Lake. I can't remember who it was. But played, what, two and a half seasons or two, three seasons there? Definitely was out the, at the end. Moved on a free back to Germany. Armenia Bielefeld. Uh, Bielefeld. And then didn't play at all. So that is definitely his, his career. Um, it, it's He didn't end on a high note, sadly. But, I mean, he's still getting money, I guess. Still getting a little bit of payment in, up into the mid-30s. But... That is it for the career of Moritz Kiergaard. Uh, not a bad one. Definitely one to take a look at and see how he grows in yours. If he's up, again, if he's up more towards the 160 mark, not too bad. But that is it for me, Safian FM, for the Football Manager blog channel, saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy.